Ed Pivo's M Live and the man I'm with right here needs no introduction, but we'll introduce Mitch Album anyway. We're here. You boy, you are a busy man. When did you have time here to write a musical? This is incredible. Hockey Town the musical. When did you have time to write this? Uh <laughs> well, I did it over the last year. Uh, it's been in my head for a long time to try to just do something just for laughs, not for meaning of life, not for any kind of guideline to a special existence, just <laughs> literally just for laughs. And a friend who used to run this theater uh, encouraged me and encouraged me and, and pushed and pushed and pushed. So he finally got to me uh, last year and I said, OK, I'll do it for this year. And uh, here we're a couple of days away from opening. That's really exciting because this is uh, this is kind of an intimate, you know, theater for people that have been to the city theater. What is the the plan with this production? Are you um, is this kind of a test run, or do you want to keep this local? What's the future plan well, for this? I learned from the play Ernie that you really shouldn't, you know, it's that old expression, "Man plans and God laughs." You know, I, Ernie was supposed to be like a three week thing, and it's going into its sixth year. So I don't, other than the fact that this is a kind of show that could go anywhere because it's not, we've made it Detroit centric, like there's a song about the Red Wings and things like that, but it's really hockey centric. So really any place that hockey is either loved, appreciated or played, it could probably go. But my interest right now is just doing it right here in the city theater through the summer, uh, as long as we can, you know, have interest. Uh, the actors are almost all from Michigan. Uh, all the crew and everything is from Michigan. So we like to keep a good Detroit, Michigan feel to it. There you go. Very cool. Um, so for people that, you know, love hockey, love sports, but are kind of like, oh, it's a musical, you know, I don't really like musicals. What would you tell them about this particular production, why they would love it? I, I would say that this is your show because we created this basically so that women who love musicals and like dancing and like singing can come down and enjoy something. But men who hate musicals and hate dancing and hate singing can also come down and enjoy something because it's totally over the top. It's totally farcical, extremely comedic. There's a joke every 10 seconds. And as like a little <laughs> added bonus for sports fans. So we said, da -na -na, da -na -na. we actually have um, video. If you show there on the video, that, that wall, as we're getting set for a little yeah. run here, that's all screens that actually lights up with uh, a different screen, different different scenery or live footage, et cetera. And some of what we have up there will pop up a, um, a hockey player uh, or two or somebody very famous okay. who may pop up and talk to the players. So uh, I, I might be able to get them to actually throw one up there. Hey, Andrea, <laughs> could you throw Live uh, on tape right here. Like a, uh, Let's see what happens. The Iserman thing there for a second. Hey, anytime you hear the word Iserman, there you go. Yeah, okay, so, so there's an Iserman thing. Been, on. I'm not tipping too big a bit here because we've actually done this in some media. So we've shown that, like, magically during the course of the play, uh, all of a sudden a player or somebody famous will appear on that screen. You there see, he is. And he'll talk to the actors. And so he's got his lines, and they're all sort of timed out, and okay. the actors will uh, you know, interact with them. And it's all very funny. And then, thank you. And, uh, and they'll just disappear. So, so this my point is that sports, I think we stepped out of the light here. My point is that sports fans who don't like musicals, don't like dancing, are still going to be able to see some very famous hockey players and plays and footage, and they will not be bored. Men, and I'm bringing men and women together. This is my goal. <laughs> Awesome. It's date night. It's it's bro it's night. night. Bro it. night. You can date do that. You know, date night with your bro, date night with your wife, your anybody. It's awesome. All right. Well, uh, kids, kids, will they like it too? Uh, kids will love it, but I would caution not to bring kids who are under maybe 10 because or 11 because there's a little bawdiness to it. We don't ever say the F word, but, uh, you know, there's a couple of S word references. And, and it's not anything that you basically wouldn't see on on uh, uh, sitcom television, but a six or seven or eight year old shouldn't come. And I want to okay. say that because sometimes people who know me from Tuesdays with Maury or other things, they think, oh, well, it's going to be wholesome, G rated stuff. It's not G, it's G push, G, push plus, G, G plus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, Mitch Album, come see the play. You, uh, you won't regret it. This is going to be good stuff. So, all right, well, thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate it. By. Edward Pivos for MLive.